Spaghetti squash is high in folic acid, especially important for women who are pregnant. It's really important for development, development of babies. Um, it's also a good source of potassium as well as vitamin A. So this is a spaghetti squash, um, named because when you cook the insides, you can sort of strip them, fluff them with a fork, and you end up with these strands of squash that are sort of like spaghetti. Um, and it is a really simple squash to prepare. The only thing you need to do, um, it can be a little tough to cut, right, because it will roll around on you. So you're just going to need to slice off the end and just work on it. You know, it's not going to be easy. Um, and then that gives you a flat surface. So then it's much safer to go in like this and cut your squash in half. There we go. So there's our halved squash. So we're gonna have it lengthwise like that. And we're just gonna cook it whole like this. But the first thing we have to do before we cook it is get rid of these seeds. So the easiest way to remove these seeds is just with a big soup spoon. Um, and I just use the spoon to get in there and scoop out the sort of pulp and the seeds, just like you would a jack-o'-lantern. Um, same exact concept. And it actually sort of smells like a pumpkin. Okay, so here I have my two halves of spaghetti squash and I scooped out all of those guts and seeds. Um, and then one really easy way to prepare sp spaghetti squash is baking it. And that is really, I think, the best way. Um, so in this little bowl, I just have a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Um, and I'm gonna put that in the spaghetti squash and just sort of move it around, coat the whole thing. You can dump it into the next one, do the same thing, coat the whole spaghetti squash. Um, so the squash are coated in oil, and then I'm just going to sprinkle them with kosher salt, the sort of coarse salt. You can use whatever salt you have. Iodized salt is fine. Um, so a little bit of salt on there. And then I add a little bit of pepper. If you have fresh cracked pepper, that's even better. Just like that. And then I have here just a regular old baking sheet, and this is a piece of parchment. You don't need that, I just hate doing dishes. Um, so I'm gonna use that piece of parchment. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the squash and put it like whole side down, right on the baking tray. And then I'll put that in the oven at 400 degrees for anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour um, until it's tender and a little bit browned and crispy on the edges. 